Hi, I want to talk a little bit about rhythm today. Not everything there is to say about rhythm, of course, but one specific idea, and that's the idea of letting the content of your expression drive the rhythm. Let me give you two famous examples from the orchestra audition literature. Or, that of course is from the slow movement of Prokofiev's classical symphony. Another example comes from the third movement of Beethoven 9. So clearly the problem in both of these instances is a failure to hold the long note the correct length of time compared with what follows. And the common wisdom of how to work on this is to subdivide feeling eighth notes inside that long note to hold it the correct length of time. While that is not wrong, it can be hard to put into practice to translate it into your actual playing. So allow me to suggest another way to think about this. And I'll use the phrase, content dictates rhythm. Content dictates rhythm. What do I mean by that? Well, going back to the Prokofiev, it would mean feeling those three eighth subdivisions, but building them expressively in a way that you're forced to release at the correct time. So if you'll pardon my singing voice, it'd be something like one and two ya da dum ya da dum ba da dum with the violin So yes, subdividing, but feeling those eighths built inside so that they release to the next note at the correct time. This takes it out of the realm of abstraction and into expression. Another way content can dictate rhythm is for you to simply give your phrase a text. Take, for example, this famous problem from Mozart 39. Often when I teach this excerpt, the player goes from one to the other, two triplety, then over dotting and giving me no line. So how does one get both? I'm not going to pretend it's easy, but if you sing da 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 with triplets, listen to the text. It's all da 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 da. But what if I were to change the syllables to Da, ya, ba, da, ba, da. Somehow the variety of saying ba da ba da gives a little bit more energy to the rhythm, and that's exactly what we need. So translate it to the violin. So there it is. Don't let playing rhythmically and with correct rhythm become an abstract process make it part of your creative expressive process where the actual content of your expression drives the rhythm and binds it into an integral part of your playing. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.